Hey, it's Shane Spiel. Here's an instrument I've never shown you before. It is the Skullcan Ultra Mini Two-String Guitar. And it is a little bit playable. The tuning is out. Uh, I probably have to figure out how it was tuned in the first place. You know what? The reason I'm showing this is this guitar was made in a warehouse that I used to work at back in the 1990s. We would unload trucks and have to take care of big bolts of fabric and, and get them into the inventory and everything. And during our breaks, we would get bored and start creating musical instruments as something to do. And this was one that a friend of mine, Chris, made. Uh, I had made a couple of these, but this is one that another co-worker had made. He chewed snuff all the time, and he had these empty little cases. And we'd take a piece of stick from a pallet and a couple pieces of it's like fishing line. I don't know what this was from. And you just take the stick right through here and widow a little bridge there. And using a piece of wire and a piece of plastic up here for the nut. We made ourselves a little guitar. Now you're not going to be playing a concert with this. However, this goes back to something I see with my kids. My kids are young. They uh, spend their days on computer games and everything else. And it seems like the cardinal sin for kids, at, kids anymore is to be bored. And they hate being bored. And I think boredom is an awesome thing. I think... When you're bored, that's when you start getting real creative and start coming up with different things. This was created when we were bored sitting around at break. And I've never gotten rid of it. It was just something that Chris probably made in 10 minutes. Made it in the Danskin warehouse in York, PA that I worked at. And I just always loved it. I just... You know, I thought it was such a cool piece. So I keep this in my studio up on a shelf uh, to remind me of back in the day when we'd be working in the factory and we were creating instruments. We also made other instruments. I would able, I would take a big cardboard tube and I would put it through a cardboard box. And we had shrink wrap, that plastic shrink wrap that you wrap around pallets. Well, I learned that if you start rolling that shrink wrap on itself maybe about eight or ten times, and then you cut off the roll of the shrink wrap, if you stretch it, you finally get it to a point it pops, and it starts stretching evenly, and it makes a bass string. And I used to make cardboard basses all the time and sit there playing them. So, boredom, it's a good thing. You can make cool little things like this. It is the two-string snuff can guitar. <laughs> i got to tune this and see if I can't play something on it someday. But either way, there's a little bit of inspiration for you. Always be creating. Go have fun. Stop being an adult and start being a kid again. My name's Shane Spiel. I am the author of the book, Making Poor Man's Guitars. You can find out more about this at poormansguitar.com. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.